Hello, everyone. Welcome to another success case video interview. Today, I am with Matt, who got a job with VanHack. Matt, thank you for accepting the invitation to share your journey with us. How are you today? Thanks for having me. I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Okay, I am doing great. Uh, first, congratulations. Uh, let's start talking about yourself, your background, where are you from? Sure. Um, so, I uh, Uh, my name is Matt or uh, Mohammed, um, and I originally come from Iran. Um, and um, yeah, I'm a software engineer and uh, have been doing this for some years, I think about 10 years now. Uh, before coming here to Canada, I was based in Malaysia. And um, yeah, so for my, my relocation from started my journey started from Iran then to Malaysia and then to uh, Canada yeah. that's great and why you decide to look for a job abroad um, with bank hack where were your principal motivations to do it um, so I was living in Malaysia for about 10 years and one of the challenges I faced in Malaysia was that there were not a lot of long-term programs for um, for expats or for partners who were staying there. And I was looking for a place that I could eventually hopefully apply for a PR or a citizenship or, or uh, whatever could be permanent for me. And um, yeah, uh, Canada was a country that I kind of did a bit of research on and, and uh, found it an exciting place to be at. And um, yeah, that's how it started. That's great. Um, tell us about like the interview process with the company that you're working right now. How was that process? Um, so the interview process, I think it took quite a few rounds of interviews. I don't have a very okay. fresh memory of it, although it's just like <laughs> maybe nine months ago or a year ago. But it was, um, we went through a few rounds of Uh, interviews. I think there was a technical interview. Then there were there was team interviews, and maybe I had a couple of not very formal chats. Uh, just uh, yeah, uh, shorter interviews, and um, yeah, that was. Yeah, and did you have like an interview uh, advisor to help you before those interviews that you have to, with the company? Do you have a mock interview with Van Hack? Oh yeah, I, I did. Um, so with Van Hack. I don't know if I was just lucky or it, if it was for everybody, but for my case, I remember I have done at least, I think I've done a technical mock interview with Van Hack and mm -hmm. I did a, um, just a general interview. And then there was also some events that I was participating in and for preparation in those events, there were a couple of um, interviews there as well. So um, yeah, th th there was quite a few rounds of uh, mock interviews and practice interviews. Uh, Before the and did actual... it did it help you to feel more confident during the real interview? It was something that you found like helpful at that moment. Definitely, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I think every candidate, or, or at least for my case, I I definitely had some level of anxiety just going for an interview. It was quite a new thing for me. I didn't really do that for years. <laughs> Mm -hmm, and yeah. Um, yeah, just being able to sit down with someone and um, practice it together and also get some feedback. Yeah, definitely. It was really, really helpful. Well, that's great. Um, let's go to that happy moment. How was your feelings when you received like the job offer or the call with the offer? How was it? Um, obviously, it was happy um, because it was something that I was looking forward to and, was, and I was working towards. But it was also surprising, to be honest. Um, again, mm -hmm. I don't know if I got lucky, but things happened relatively fast. And um, yeah, I, I, I had set my expectations. And in fact, I think based on even Van Hack's uh, guidelines and instructions, I had set my uh, expectations for many months uh, before I could get an offer. Uh, but I was lucky to come across an opportunity early enough and, and I think get an offer in in a couple of months on after being on Van Hack. So That's yeah, I, I think I'm really a good success story. <laughs> yeah. And how fast. long it took for you to get the job offer? Do you remember like the time frame? 
Um, I'm really just guessing off the top of my head, but if I'm not mistaken, I, st- I, I joined Van Hack in March of 2021. Mm-hmm. And I think by May, I had uh, two job offers from both wow. actually through Van Hack. And um, again, I guess it's, it's just really the circumstances worked out well. And I think it was just lucky that um, I, I came across two employers at the same time on Van Hack, and both of them happened to uh, extend an offer uh, in, I think, in May. So it, it wasn't a very long period of time. That's great. And did you start like remotely before coming to Canada? I did. And how was I that did. experience? Uh, I was. It was okay. Um, th- there were certainly some challenges there. So I, I, I after I got my offer. I think I started in September, so three months after that. Yeah, in September I started, and I worked from Malaysia um, for about six months before I relocated. And the Malaysian time zone and the Canadian time zone are not exactly I friendly. Can't imagine. It was yeah. yeah, fourteen hours of difference, and um, mm-hmm. yeah, so it, it was a little bit difficult. Um, just making sure that, so I I had to have some level of overlap. So I did Mm -hmm. stay awake uh, later hours. But at the same time, again, I guess I was lucky that the the team that hired me was flexible enough that I didn't really need to have eight hours of overlap. I had a few hours of overlap. So I could still get some sleep and live a reasonable life. Yeah, Yeah, that sounds great. And how is life now, like that you're living in in Canada? How, How are the things? that you move abroad? Um, so far, so good. I mean, we, we are happy. It's, it's just really less than six months. I think we have moved here and um, we are starting to feel like this is home already. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's that's definitely a happy feeling that, that it, it already feels like home. Um, and yeah, I mean, certainly in terms of the kind of expectations that we had, um, I think they have been met uh, in terms of um, being able to find somewhere that is uh, peaceful and calm and um, has a pretty reasonable standard of living. So, yeah, we are, we are pretty happy so far. That's great. And that is re- something that makes us really happy. Um, during this time that you were like trying to look for a job abroad and everything, was that thought about giving up or in some point or not? <laughs> uh, honestly, there wasn't uh, because I kind of knew that this is something that I needed to do uh, sooner mm-hmm. or later. Um, I had, again, I had my expectations set for a much, much longer duration and things just happened quick enough. Um, so there was never a point of giving, feeling like I wanted to give up, but it also wasn't necessarily easy. I, I, I think there were quite a bit of, uh, like there, there was quite a bit of work and effort to, to be put into all those interviews. And um, yeah, there, there, there were quite a bit of preparation. So it was definitely a quite, quite a process. And it, it, it does take quite a bit of energy from, it, it did take quite a bit of energy from me, but yeah, it was never really about giving up. And it's like a lot of effort, like putting all your attention to do it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. Do you have any advice for other bank hackers that are looking for a job abroad as you did? Um, just to stick to it and do be patient with it. Um, again, it's funny that I'm saying this because I, I had, I, I was a lucky case that I could uh, find an opportunity quite fast, but I can imagine it would typically take time and um, mm-hmm. it does take quite a bit of effort. I mean, you really want to, you got to have to really want it, right? It, it wasn't necessarily straightforward. It's so in general, I think there's a lot of opportunities for software engineers out there, but opportunities that relocate, I mm-hmm. found them to be pretty rare and it was not really easy to uh, find one and uh, complete one. So if there's one thing 
I could share is that it, it does take a bit of patience and a bit of work before any results come. That's great. So thank you so much for sharing your journey with us. Uh, we know that this is going to be really helpful for all the bank hackers that are looking for a job abroad. This is a really inspirational history. So thank you and see you around. You're welcome. Thanks for having me.